What it do is the King Three Stacks. Grind time, supernova shine, get your bank up, get your rank up. So, Walgreens is a go. It's been confirmed, showed the receipt. Now, the first time somebody said they got a bat from Walgreens, but they didn't have no receipt. And you know, kind of like if you don't have no proof, the shit didn't happen. If you can't back up receipts, you know, ain't no need in showing it or telling nobody about it because it's a... 50 50 chance that it could have not happened you could be doing it for clout or you know seeking attention or some shit like that but you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody but if you want somebody to believe what you have found you need to provide some kind of receipt some kind of facts that you did for sure did what you say you did besides anything else other than that it's just all just a rumor so this is a confirmed find my man said he found that janet walgreens but it wasn't in the system and i think they charged him 14 dollars for it or something like that as i was looking on facebook got this information via facebook in one of the gi joe groups so it's a go time if you guys are stuck and down on your luck of trying to find G.I. Joe classified bats and alley vipers. You might want to start hitting up those Walgreens. As I speculated, I knew it was going to trickle down in Walgreens, but I didn't know for fact that the first finding was true or false, but I still put it out there. So, but anyway, just like the. Cobra Commander, Gung Ho, and the Red Ninja Wave popped up in there. I suspected this wave was going to pop up in there as well because, you know, pretty much the toy section got redone. Everything was cleared out. So they're bringing in new stuff. And what's the next wave? Bats, Alley Viper. Possibly you might even find some spirits and some storm shadows start popping up in there. But until we get some finding, this just going to be what I think, you know, I'm maybe they might start popping up in there along with the bats and alley vipers. But I suspect that they had their stuff in distribution centers and was just waiting for the new year to, you know, get over all the holiday stuff and you know try to get back to normal circulation or whatever so um i'm gonna say it's go time because holiday is gone and it's about time for things to start getting back to normal so you know you might start seeing a lot of stuff pop up in a lot of stores as i was in walmart and they have pallets and pallets of toys they trying to replenish the toy aisle so um, y'all might want to duck in them Walgreens, duck in them Walmarts, duck in them Targets and see what they got for you. But anyway, this the King 3 Stats coming through with a bit of information telling you guys to be on the lookout. If you pass Walgreens every day, shit, you might want to stop by them joints. If it's on the way going home, if it's not out the way, shit, I might duck up in that Janie check, check, check. So, I mean, if it ain't out the way then it's a definitely, I would check every day I pass through if it's not out my way. But if you want to wait to June pre-orders or whatever, then I guess you could do that. But if you don't, then I say check them joints. Anyway, this is King 3 Stacks. Y'all leave a like and a comment. I'm going to be out in peace.